that uh, we got this uh, two imagers. Let's expand and call it close. So let's put it inside our resources folder. So we'll for expand. We'll just PNG and for close, close that PNG. And let's also create index file. So to import to import from this folder. And let's import the import images from assets. Yeah, and give close or expand. No. Let's do it. This one also creates. Let's create style styles. Style sheet. Okay. Uh, okay. What what kind of styles we need for this one? So we need a container flex and flex. Direction and let's give a margin of ten. So and let's create another container with just title container and flex direction will be row and justify justify content will be flex and so our image will be at the end of this row and let's give let's create style for image will be width width of 20 and height of 20 Give this prop types to home item prop types equals to prop types. Okay, and let's try to import this home item in home screen. Home item from home item and instead of this text, let's Return home item and see what will happen. Let me find it back from this button. Remember. Uh, oh, sure, sure. I forgot to export my home item. Okay, let's see. So you can see there is text and hey. So actually, let's give style for text. And let's call it styles dot title. And let's create this create this tile. So flex will be one and font size let's give 20 mm, okay now you can see it's actually touchable mm. so what we will need to know to do now is to create uh, 
detail rendering for when the user pressed this item it will show the description and details other detail stuff so let's create render details and it will actually uh, return for us uh, a view with this with the text that shows its description of this item. That's all it, 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 it will be a view, and then we'll get text and style. Let's give style of description and and also uh, it will give some let's give some overall text and actually there is there actually this let's state is selected and render detail so if if item is selected it will render this render this components and it will show description but and actually, actually let's get it from state and use is selected instead okay now state is not selected let's see if it's working not not selected let's change it true yeah you can see so actually let's imp give the style for description so flex will be one font size will be let's get to 22 two. color color will be gray because it's detail and padding from top will be 10 that's true let's see yeah you can see description now and also let's implement the method for for pressing the item and showing hidden description so let's create method on press so what will what will do in on press is actually set new state set state no set state and it will get the previous state and previous props and it will return new object with selected not pref state is selected so it will override change our previous state so if it, it was selected it will be not selected anymore and let's give this to to our touchable without feedback this on press okay let's see selected not selected selected not selected yeah let's actually give false and what is left is to get this data from this item and for this one we need to pass uh, we need to get render item and give it to this item from flat list and give it to home item so item will be item and try to use it in home item okay oh. Uh, this props item title let's copy this one description let's see react native js framework 
Node.js and actually I don't like this data because there is no enough information so let's make it to, to look more better so I'll go react native get props and get props and give title of props so what is props props is get this one and as a description and just get state or state okay this get this information and let's create new object so it will be style style and yeah let's get this one oh yeah what's this one and I think there is escaping character so why it's complaining okay look better so we have props let's what is props Props. state style so that's it so thank you for watching and if you like this video don't forget to subscribe bye